Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Peter Pan Mofo. In this video I'm going to let you guys know what was added with the DLC and what's coming over the next couple of months to GTA Online and the creator. So Rockstar released the Southern San Andreas Super Sports Series DLC this week and with that came 5 cars and 10 new hot ring races. All these races are locked to the hot ring sabre and are all 30 players. Playing the races will unlock liveries for the Hot Ring Saber as well. But on their newswire they said it's the first of two new race modes. So I'm guessing this one is like locked to one car race mode. They might release more stock car races like this but locked to a different vehicle. Also on the Rockstar Social Club site they tease the target assault mode coming April the 3rd. This is going to be the other race mode by the looks of things and it looks like it will be coming to creator as well. In this mode there are two to eight teams of two players. One takes the gun and one takes the steering wheel. The one on the gun shoots out the targets to try and gain points that way whilst the driver tries to gain further points points by outmaneuvering the opposition so I assume like if you're in first place you get more points. With this there are 14 new target assault props. From the picture they look like they're going to be similar to these ones that are in the game now. These B variations weren't there before, it was only the numbered versions that were there before, but they still have slow down strips on them that make the car slow down, so I don't know if these are the actual props that we will be getting, but these are just black and white, not like the ones in the picture. So the new vehicles are the Taipan, Hot Ring Sabre, Entity XXR, Fapid GB200, then the Fagaloa or whatever that's called. These cars have been added to all the races and last team standings and that. And I think there's something like 11 more drip feed vehicles to come. And also in last team standing, they've put a weaponized section in, which has all the weaponized airplanes that were already available in the combat side of Creator. Hopefully this means that they'll be adding more of the weaponized vehicles and special vehicles to that side of the Creator. It's been a bit neglected, so hopefully that's one of the updates coming soon. And also on May the 1st, they're going to be releasing 10 more unique special vehicle races featuring the Deluxo, Stromberg and the Thruster. So they'll be adding more vehicles hopefully to the special vehicle races because at the moment we've still only got three. And on the newswire which I'll leave linked down below along with the patch notes for you guys it says about dodging underwater mines so maybe that's going to be a new prop maybe dynamic prop or something and on May 29th they've said that they're releasing seven new transform races so I'm guessing they're going to be with the Deluxo, Stromberg and other vehicles like that so hopefully that means that we'll be able to use them as well in the creator for custom jobs but the best part about the news wire was this bit we are also adding a heap of new tools and updates for the creator coming later this spring including more weather options custom team names and warp checkpoints for transform races as well as a number of highly requested features so a couple of things to take from that so they say coming later this spring so I have, I have a feeling it's not going to be for a couple of months yet till we see that until after they've released all their new races and things like that so it'll probably be June time when we see one of those updates for the creator but it says updates so that, does that mean there's going to be more than one coming maybe they're planning on actually updating the combat side of the creator you never know and also at the end as well as a number of highly requested features let me know in the description what you would like added most to the creator with the doomsday DLC a couple of things got updated in the creator Warp checkpoints were one of them. If you saw my video before, then you'll see the difference to how they are now. But now they, the checkpoints look different, and when you pick them up, they have the area shown as a bubble around the checkpoint, so you know where the area is that you can place it. And for the checkpoint you warp to, you now have to have three available spawn points, and they've got these little animations for the cars for the spawn points, which looks pretty cool. So they updated that with the Doomsday DLC, as well as making it so you can go underwater. If you haven't realized already, you can easily put your camera under the water now. We will probably be able to place underwater checkpoints down there, and you can actually place weapons and things like that in last team standings down there. Apparently someone placed a trigger down there, which I find pretty funny considering they deleted a load of 
good jobs because of where the trigger was but uh, apparently if your race was not playable before I would check it again because some people are saying that their race is now playable whereas Rockstar made it unplayable before I think that's the ones where the starting grid is over water or something like that I don't think it affects the ones where the trigger were in the water so definitely check back your old races or jobs see if they are playable now but one of the highly requested features has always been deleting lampposts and dynamic props on the map and this is another thing that got updated with the doomsday dlc i was going to make a video on this um like about a month ago but obviously i haven't been doing youtube and that so i didn't bother but they did change how it works and everything in the dev creator so i thought as they updated it that they're probably going to be bringing it to the creator as it's one of the highest requested features. The GP community really want lampposts and things gone out of their races and so does the stunting community. So it's one of the things that we've wanted for ages and we know it's in the game, we know it's available since Cunning Stunts because we've seen it in those races as I'm showing you on screen now. Rockstar could do it so why could they not let us do it? The tools have been in the game but yeah like I said a friend of mine said that it's been updated and they've got a better menu system for it now so hopefully that's going to be one of the highly requested features added. Personally that's one of the ones that I want to see. I would like to see 30 player transform races as well and GTA mode transform races would be pretty cool as well. But all the speculation and everything out of the way let's get into what they've actually added in creator. So the 27 player glitch when you load up a race has been fixed. As you can see, I load into a race and it stays on 30 players. They don't delete the last three players in the grid. The weather has changed from clear to bright. So they've changed that in preparation, probably for adding more options to the weather. Apparently you can get rain and that in stunt races now, but when I loaded a couple of races up yesterday, there was no weather option in the race. So maybe it's just something that the creator can set only and you can't change as a host of the race. But there's definitely rain available in stunt races now, which has been requested since they came out. The dynamic props now have the advanced options to them, which is awesome. Been wanting this for a while. So you can now override the location and rotation of the dynamic props. But as you can see here, there's no prop stacking override. So you can't place them in the ground or anything. They still have to be clear everywhere around them. But it is awesome that you've got advanced rotation on these props now. The advanced rotation glitch where you are either snapping on a prop and go into the advanced options to change where the position is and it resets it or whenever you hit the rotation it would reset it. That is now fixed, it stays in the same place. It's got little minuses on the zero now as well, I don't know what that's about but that's different. They have moved the arrows into their own little section out of the stunt sign section into an arrow section. And now we have 200 props. I'm sure most of you guys already know that the limit has been increased by 50 from 150 to 200, which is pretty cool. And I'm sure there'll be a load of 200 prop wall rides and things like that coming out. They haven't fixed the glitch where if you've got props snapping on and you're putting down a template, it resets it. So that's still a thing. You can work around it though, just turn snapping off and it won't do it and they've not fixed where you pitch it and delete a prop, it will reset the pitch. They've not fixed that either yet, so you have to carry on using ramps or whatever you want to use for that. But I think I've covered about everything that's been added and what I speculate's coming and what Rockstar's confirms coming. Like I said, I'll leave the newswire and patch notes down in the description. There were more things fixed, so if you want to go check that out, check it out. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already, and subscribe if you're new here. I'm Peter Pan Mofo, thanks for watching.